Time sure flies. It feels like only yesterday that I made that friendship pact with Sophie and Richard. But we've all changed so much since then. I don't know what to believe anymore. Asbel? What are you doing out here? Sorry. I just needed some time to think about things. About King Richard? <laughs> You know me too well. Hey, remember the first time we met him? Of course. You broke into his room and then dragged him all over town. I was always surprised he enjoyed it as much as he did. He even wore that stupid disguise. <laughs> yeah, good times. Everyone was together back then, even Richard. But now he's all alone, with no one to support him. Sometimes I wonder if that loneliness drove him to his current state. I can't help but think if things could have been different. I was so caught up in my own training that I never thought to check up on any of you guys. If I had been able to notice Richard's troubles, maybe I could have stopped things from the way they are now. It's not too late. I don't know. Stubbornness is one of your strongest traits, you know. You're always pursuing some issue long after it's reached the point of annoyance. So if you believe he can still be saved, then don't give up. Just use the same persistence with him that you have shown me. Thanks, Hubert. That means a lot coming from you. I'm glad you're around. You always put things into perspective. Oh, come on. Besides, it's my job as the little brother to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Ouch. If King Richard doesn't have anyone to trust, then at least he can go to you. You think so? You promised to believe in him, and you have an obligation to maintain that promise. I suppose it does. He's right. If I don't stop Richard, who will? I'm not going to give up, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs>